And now, the final selection from Africa and Asia Pacific. South Africa. How are you? Oh my goodness, I couldn't be better, Steve. <laughs> well, you probably imagined how this evening would go for you. Did you, have, did you ever imagine what I might ask you tonight? Well, I got a question this whole week. Do I have a pet lion? And Steve, the closest that I have to a pet lion is my little Yorkshire Terrier, and his name is Benji. So guys, it's really safe in South Africa. You can come on safari. <laughs> okay. Thank you, South Africa. South Africa. Still alive in the competition is South Africa. Literally a month after my crowning, I was hijacked and held at gunpoint. I put my hands up, got out of the car, gave them the keys, gave them my phone and tried to run away. But the guy pulled me back and pushed me back into the car telling me, get in, you're going with us. I took a chance and I punched the guy in his throat. I managed to run away. I was able to, to go to a safe place. No! As Miss South Africa, I was able to launch Unbreakable. Cut. My campaign consisted of getting specialists in their field together to equip women with the necessary skills and knowledge on how to empower themselves. Yes! This was a traumatic experience and it was really, really bad and I will not allow myself to be a victim. South Africa. South Africa. So much personality from South Africa. Working the camera and working the stress. A bit covered up, but a great uh, hemline detail, nude with a dramatic kind of crystallized embellishment and an art deco detail, very sophisticated. The first woman to make it into the final five is... South Africa! I would love to, to encourage people to take hands and work together and move forward as one nation. South Africa. The next woman. Okay, women make up 49% of the global workforce. What do you believe is the most important issue facing women in the workplace today and why? In some places, women get paid 75% of what men earn for doing the same job, working the same hours. And I do not believe that that is right. I think we should have equal work for equal pay for women all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Only one spot left. One of you will move on. And for the other two, your Miss Universe journey ends right now. The last contestant in the final three is... South Africa! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your three finalists. South Africa, please join me. Here is your question. What quality in yourself are you most proud of? And how will you apply that quality to your time as Miss Universe? As Miss Universe, you have to be confident in who you are as an individual. 
And Miss Universe is a woman that has overcome many fears. And by that, she is able to help other women overcome their fears. She is a woman that nothing is ever too much to ask for. And I think that is exactly who I am. Thank you. Thank you, South Africa. Well, the final word is over. But coming up, our finalists have one chance left to make a lasting impression on our judges. It's their final look, accompanied by singer-songwriter Rachel Platten. And later, we crown a new Miss Universe live on Fox. Gonna make that ceiling crash, that ceiling crash, so what? Still got knives in my back, so what? So I'm tied to the tracks. I'm gonna test some broken glass. And here I go, here I go, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, here I go, here I go. Two women remain, Colombia and South Africa. Take center stage, please. One of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is South Africa. Take your first walk as Miss Universe.